Hi guys. Um, I'm here live again. I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing me live, uh, but that's too bad because here I am. Um, along with my uh, tribute earlier to dear friend that we lost last year, um, another dear friend of mine and also co-owner of Mabel's Roadhouse, the bar I work at, um, requested that I make her a mojito. Um, and because I work in the type of bar that I work at, we don't have things like mint um, because, you know, we just don't get enough orders. That's my cat. Hold on, you want to say hi to my cat? This is Bailey. She loves me and only me, and she yells at me all day long. You want to say hi? You can't have a mojito. You're only six and you're a cat. So that's Bailey. So if you hear someone yelling at me, it's Bailey. <laughs> uh, she loves me a lot. Sometimes I wish she loved me a little less, uh, especially at three o'clock in the morning when she wants my attention. Uh, so I'm gonna make you guys a mojito. Um, and again, uh, this is not something that we normally make. This kind of became popular, um, I don't know, probably like 10 years ago. Um, yeah, so if this isn't the way you've learned how to make it, you know, make it how you like it, like we always say in our videos. So um, I've, I've looked at a lot of recipes and there was one thing that I definitely disagree with and when, I, when we get to that point, I will tell you, but you can use simple syrup. I'm actually gonna use sugar cubes because I have a ton of them. And you know, I should probably use them before they go bad. Um, so I'm using two. It says, uh, some of the recipes I looked up said two teaspoons. So, you know, I've got a sweet tooth, so we're gonna use two sugar cubes. So here's a, uh, I'm gonna squeeze. So I'm, I'm probably doing this different than other people do it, but what I'm gonna do, you don't muddle mint. That's the part that I, I strongly disagree with because it kind of breaks down um, the composition of it, it makes it bitter. And bitter mint is not really the idea. You want it to taste nice and fresh and minty. So we're gonna slap them in. We're gonna do that in a minute. So I'm gonna squeeze the limes on top of the sugar cubes. And I'm gonna do three because I want it nice and limey. Really, really citrusy. So that's two. And then my third one, so it's about a half um, of a lime. And this lime is nice and juicy. I picked it on purpose because it was so juicy. And then I'm gonna take my muddler and I'm going to muddle the sugar. Ooh, which was really easy with that lime in there. Um, and some people like to put it in a shaker. Um, I, I guess if you put it in a shaker, you could roll it, which means pouring it from one glass into the other glass. Um, but I'm not even gonna do that, I'm gonna stir it. So there we go. Now that you guys are nice and close. So now it's like this nice limeade in the bottom there. Well, no water, it's just lime and sugar. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pour, do I wanna do the Bacardi first or I do wanna do the ice? I think I wanna do the Bacardi first. I'm gonna do two ounces. I've got my little jigger here to, you know, for consistency. Consistency in drinks like the mojito is kind of important, you know? It's not a drink that you wanna like overdo. And I looked at several recipes and they all called for two ounces. So I'm gonna honor those uh, directions, I guess and do that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some ice, which I have pre-prepared here in my little shaker. I'm gonna pour that on top. Oh, um, that was, oh no, there's more ice in there. It's like all stuck at the bottom. Good thing I got my handy dandy spoon here. <laughs> I'm just gonna get all the ice, all the ice that I prepared. There we go. And then we're gonna slap some mint. So I prepared about that much, but you can use as much or as little as you desire. You just put it in your palm like that, give it a good smack and you just drop it in. So you do that with, I mean, you can do them all at once, I guess. Unless you wanna see me keep, in, keep slapping the mint. Smack it. Smacking that mint. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do four leaves. Um, one more. Mm, that smells so good. And now I'm losing it. So I put that in there and then I grab my little spoon and we're gonna give it a good stir. I don't like it, you know, another reason I don't like it muddled is that like, you get all these little bits in there and I don't know, it's just kind of weird. And then we're gonna top it off with some soda water. Um, I'm using Perrier Lime because that's what I have. Um, and then you just top it off with that. You could use a bigger glass if you like. Um, I, I don't know. I just thought this glass was cute, which is why I decided to use it. Give it a little stir. You don't have to be too vigorous or anything. And then if you want to be fancy fancy, you can take a little lime wedge and garnish the side like that. And there you have a mojito. Let's see, if you look on the other side, you can see a little mint leaves floating around in there. Let's see. 
Mm, that's really good. It's really refreshing. Um, actually, I think it could be a little sweeter, but I have a really big sweet tooth. So, you know, play with it, make it yours. And uh, I showed that minute who's boss, that's right. Um, it was delicious. Um, you know, it's it doesn't taste as boozy as it is because there's two shots in there, so um, it was really good. There you go, there's a mojito, Becky, just for you. Cheers, I miss you!